So the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis states that as per the question, uh, you discuss whether the mean price of the shares in the month is 65. So it's like that the mean is shillings 65. That tells you what? If, if it is not 65, then it must be uh, a different. So meaning not shillings 65. This means it is two tail test. Why? Because it is non-directional. If not 65, it may be higher or may be lower than. And that's is two tail. The next thing is to get um, the z from the table. So this is a test statistic. Now we will not use z because our number of prices are not more than 30. So we're going to use t. So I say good, we're going to have t calculated. The formula does not change. Uh, it's still going to be the x bar minus the population mean you divide by s over root n so what you don't have is the x bar so x bar actually is summation of x over n while s is the square root of the summation of x minus x bar squared divided by the degree of freedom which is n minus 1 so this is going to give us a chance to use these values which have been given. The, the prices are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have uh, 10 prices that we are supposed to determine are the um, averages and uh, these are deviation. So we can have it, let me just use this space this is my x this is my x minus x bar this is my x minus x bar squared that i'm having the prices are 66 65 69 70 69 64 and 68 which means we require to determine first of all the summation of x so if you add this to sum up you'll have 66 plus 65 plus 69 plus 70 plus 69 plus 71 plus seven zero plus six three plus six four plus six eight this is going to give us six seventy five so x bar now shall be six seventy five you divide by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you divide by ten so this one will give you sixty seven point five so our average is five point five so I come and record it here 67.5 then now to get the deviation or the uh, variance we'll have it uh, from the values of x so if you say 66 minus uh, this 67 so 66 minus 67.5 of course this is going to be uh, minus 1.5 uh, if you square it and you store, we are going to square and you store. Let's first of all clear the memory. Shift, clear, uh, all. Equal sign. So when we now say 66 minus 67.5, I get uh, the negative 1.5. I square and I store. This will be 2.25. The other one is 65 minus um, 67.5 which I get negative 2.5. I square and I store. This is 6.25. The next one is 69 minus 67.5. This is giving us 1.5. I square and I store. I get 2.25. 
Then 70 minus 67.5, this gives me 2.5. I square and I store, this is 6.25. 69 minus 67.5, I get 1.5. I square and I store, this is 2.25. 71. 71 minus uh, 67.5. I get 3.5 I square and I store. This will give us 12.25. Then I have 70 minus 67.5, which is 2.5 I square and I store, 6.25. Then 63 minus 67.5, this is four, minus 4.5 I square and I store, this is 20.25. 64 minus 67.5 this is a negative 3.5 i square and i store this is 12.25 then 68 minus 67.5 this is 0.5 i square and i store this is 0.25 so i can recall my memory and get the total of these uh, deviations so recall memory which is giving me 70 point uh, five that's what you have now it is this now that we require to substitute here to get our solution that if we substitute this is um, 70.5 you divide by n n is 10 minus 1 so 10 minus 1 and the square root that means 70.5 divided by 9 then the square root of it this is 2.8. 2.8. Mm -hmm. Now, this one being the case, having those two, we can be determine our t calculated. So, which is going to be, uh, this is um, uh, t equals to, the value of x bar is 67.5 minus the value of uh, the population, mean is 65 shillings. Then you divide by uh, S, which is a uh, 2.5, uh, 2.8. You divide by the square root of 10. This is going to give me, so I'm having the 67.5 minus 65. I get 2.5, 2.8, 2 I divide by square root of 10. So I have 2.5 divided by the answer. I get 2.82, 2.82 as our answer to the T calculated. So we just need, need now the T from the table. How do you get and how do you determine a T from the table? So to get a T from the table, we have to actually be keen on a two tail and one tail. So T from the table, T table uh, at uh, two point no this is um ninety nine percent confidence level that is five no 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 this is one percent that is one percent significance level the formula of this is what the probability is normally taking the one minus C L over two which is one minus zero point zero one divided by two which is going to give us so 0 0.01 divided by 2 this is uh, then 1 minus answer this is 0 0.995